A linear array transducer with a musculoskeletal exam type is used to perform an ultrasound examination of a long bone fracture. The patient is in a comfortable position to allow access to the injured area. A liberal amount of gel is used to reduce the amount of pressure over the injury site. The ultrasound examination should begin in the non-injured extremity to establish a baseline normal examination. The transducer is placed longitudinally over the extremity with the orientation marker directed proximately. The fatty soft tissue above the bony surface appear hypoechoic. The surface of the bone appears as a bright hyperechoic line that is smooth and without deformities. The transducer should be slowly translated down the entire surface of the bone. The transducer should then be rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise with the orientation marker directed towards the patient's right side. The transverse section of the bone appears as a bright, hyperechoic, circular, or triangular shaped structure that gradually tapers in the distal bone. The ultrasound examination should be repeated longitudinally in the injured extremity. A fracture appears as a discontinuity or step-off in the smooth hyperechoic cortical bone surface. Often, a hypoechoic or anechoic fracture hematoma can be seen in the area of the fracture. The transducer should then be rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise with the orientation marker directed toward the patient's right side. The transducer is slowly translated down the injured extremity. The fracture will appear as an isolated hypoechoic region in the hyperechoic bony cortex with an accompanying fracture hematoma.